Hi everyone. Hello guys, welcome back to my vlog. Today is January 11th, 2019. Today I want to talk about the Steam trading cards that I have in my Steam inventory. Steam, in case you don't know, is a very deep and versatile online video game platform and marketplace created by Valve. The same company that has created the two hit video games, Half-Life and Team Fortress. So once in a while I will buy a digital Steam game from the Steam platform, but for the last couple of years I have bought the bulk of my Steam games from two different websites, Fanatical and Humble Bundle, two websites that offer Steam game bundles for cheap. And what I mean by that is super dirt cheap. So for the last two years I bought so many games that I now have over 650 Steam games in my library. Now I can't quite give you a ballpark figure of how much I spent because I lost track, so it's not that relevant anyways. So on Steam, most Steam games has, what, has what's called Steam Trading Card Compatibility. And it's going to be a little bit elaborate, elaborate for me to explain about this, but it means that certain games have a complete set of trading cards that you can collect. One of the primary ways that you can get the trading cards is to buy them from other users from the marketplace and they usually fetch for like pennies on the dime. They're super cheap. But there's another way you can get cards and you can actually get them for free from card drops. And all you do is you boot up a game that has the trading card compatibility. You just boot it up and you just play it. And once in a while, there are a random time, a card drop will happen in which a card will appear, it gets added to your inventory, and you get it for free. Usually, the time it takes to get a free card is like several minutes, I suppose. It's not that long at all. Now, the number of card drops that you can get for a specific game is equal to half of that game's complete set. I've seen games be as low as having five cards in a set to as high as, I think, 15? I haven't seen 16. I think 15 is the highest I've seen. So for the card drops, take for example, if a certain Steam game has eight cards in a set, then the maximum number of cards you can get for free from card drops for that game is four. And let's say a complete set has nine cards, they can get five card drops because it gets rounded up. So, I have, of all the Steam games that I have in my lab library, all over 650 plus, I have over 400 Steam games that have the trading card compatibility. And ever since June of last year, and I've been doing this every day, I've been cheesing the card drops in this way. You don't actually have to play the game. All you have to do is just boot it up, just go to the title screen and let it run, and the card drops will still happen. So what I've been doing is, I've been running a game overnight before going to bed, or I let it run before I go to work, and just get the free cards that way, and save a whole lot of time. I've been doing, doing this so much, I've been doing it for quite a few months now, but now I have about 40 games left that I gotta play out. And for most of 2018, when I started doing this, I've already sold all the cards during that time frame, but for the last month, I have not sold any cards, so I still have nearly 300 cards left that I still have to sell on the marketplace. But once I get these other 40 games left that I have in my Steam library that I get all the card drops for, then I'm going to sell all the cards that I have left in my inventory and get Steam credit for it. In case you don't know, because I've sold so many cards last year, I have over $45 in Steam credit, and that was after I have already bought one game, and I can't remember what game it was, I think it was Sonic Mania, but no big deal. So my goal is to get all the card drops out of the way and sell every single Steam card that I have in my inventory before this year's Steam Summer Sale in June. I also have a prediction too. Now, if, I, if I'm able to sell every card that I have, I'm going to guess that I'm going to have over $70 in Steam credit, which includes the $45 I still have in 
my account. So let's hope I get these card drops and I sell all the Steam cards before that happens, but chances are, I think I'll be able to do it. I have, I got five months. Now, to end the vlog, I do want to talk about what games I want to buy for the upcoming Steam Summer Sale of June of 2019. I have over a dozen games on my wish list, but I'll discuss the five that I want to buy, or not quite discuss, but I just want to tell you the five games that I really want to buy during the big summer sale. The big game that I really want to buy is Cuphead. The other games that I do want to get, if I do get the chance to get them, would be A Hat in Time, Yoku's Island Express, Tales of Zestiria, and Shovel Knight Treasure Trove. In case you don't know too, most of my Steam games aren't really that good, they're mostly just cheaply made games. That's why I got them for dirt cheap from the two websites that I already mentioned and got them, you know, just at a very low cost. Um, but with that, I think that's going to do it. So let's hope that I get those cards sold for the next five months. But like I said, chances are I'll be able to get that job done. Okay, that's going to do it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe for more, and don't forget to check out my gaming channel, Marcus B. Gaming, for video game, let's play content. I will see you later, but until then, like always, take care.